So, what do you do with around uh, 3000 of these e paper price tags, which got a segment e paper display? Like you can see here, it is only able to drive each of these numbers, but it can also drive the whole screen black and white. So, I thought about making it a really big matrix to like each block is one uh, pixel and let's just put them next to each other row by row and column by column so I'm currently at opening them all up and yeah using a screwdriver for it separating the batteries from the cases to throw this uh, correctly in the recycle as these are from 2013 the batteries are also or already um, all empty even if they are new but just too old and yeah so now the soldering begins and I was able to 3D print a holder where these uh, PCBs can now be hold in place and then we are a bit thick copper wire 1.5 millimeter square we can yeah, just solder them a bit stiffer together and after that connect them all and via a small UART protocol it's then possible to drive them all via one line from the ESP32 or from one ESP32 and update them all into one big mess. So here is this 3D printed holder and we first need to remove this battery clip just by prying it apart and then they can be inserted here to have the correct spacing in between and just hold in like that. And here we also got a demo of a white and a black pixel in the moment so we can see how it will look on refresh and also you saw that it can be completely white or completely black and we can simulate the kind of grayscale but just only turning on the segments and so on just that needs, that needs to be looked after when the matrix is yeah, put together at all as it's hard to imagine uh, right now and then let's see how it looks overall